Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. I probably look a little bit messy, I'm not gonna lie, because today is kind of an off day, but I suddenly have a burst of motivation in my body. I just have to do this. I thought I honestly wasn't gonna be able to because a lot of times when I randomly wanna film, my camera has no battery and it didn't have battery today. So I took out the battery and I put in my other one and it's always very debatable if I charge my batteries or not, but I actually did it this time. So we have battery to film today. So I'd like to thank past me for being such a G and being responsible for once. Today we are going to be doing a doggy room makeover. I've been meaning to do this. You guys know doggy. She is the cutie little ferret that currently lives in this house and there are multiple reasons why I want to do this specifically today. First of all, I'm having a League of Legends watch party for Worlds this Saturday with my friends and I really want the house to look as nice as possible and her room is right there and it's a heinous, ugly, awful shade of orange and I hate it and it's been that color in my house for a long time. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm getting older because I'm in my interior decorating, house decorating phase, that or I'm starting to seep my pinkness outside of my bedroom and into the rest of the house. I kind of want this room to be pink by the time my friends come over. Also, I've been meaning to do it. This is basically her room that we have barricaded off when she's not in the rest of the house because honestly she has the whole house to roam but if I'm busy or something and I can't necessarily watch her, she has that room and she can just hang out. Secondly, I know I've gotten a lot of comments about hot dog needing a friend and I know that and I've been looking into it a lot and doing a lot of research and I also agree that doggy might be getting lonely So I started looking into it and kind of beginning the process of just like thinking about it You know and obviously it'd be easier to get this done with one ferret rather than two So many reasons right we got the League of Legends watch party we got hot dog being hot dog and I want her to be happy. The room is ugly and we may be getting another ferret soon, which a name I've already picked out is Muffin. So we're gonna have Doggy and Muffin and it's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be the same shade as this. It's currently five o'clock. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it today. I'm also starving because I haven't really eaten very well today. And my hair is probably really greasy because it's been up all day and I'm about to put it up again because we're actually about to do some real work. So yeah, but the first step to doing hot dog's room is painting it. It, and then I'm going to be moving in more furniture for her and such. So the hair is going up, which means you know it's time for business. Also, I just did my nails the other day. They are so, so pretty, so gorge, but oh my God, do they get stuck on literally everything. If you guys wanna see a close up of this, I've actually been posting hello TikToks recently. This is not gonna be finished in one day, but I'd like to get it started. Let's go ahead and just crack that paint open and do it. I feel like with these things, it's like while you still have the motivation, you should just get it done because once the motivation is gone, it's like so hard. It's like pulling teeth trying to do this type of stuff. So let's go paint Doggy's room. So here's a current update on Doggy and her situations. So we have this little gate set up and she stopped messing with it now because she knows that she can't get out of it. So this is all of her space. We do unfortunately have two desks in here, although I do typically work on these, so it is okay. And then we have some old stuff. Uh, this house is pretty old and it's my childhood house. So I've been living here since I was a kid. So we have these paintings that I'm gonna plan on taking down and I feel like without the paintings like I think even the curtains could possibly stay and you can see how like orange and yellow it is in here and I feel like it still might be after I finish painting but it'll be better because it's literally orange in here and so also when I'm in my living room you can see like slivers of the orange on the wall and it bothers me like crazy so I'm excited to be getting that done but yeah as for the furniture you guys know me and my lazy painting method I'm just gonna scooch everything like two feet away from the wall paint it and I'm gonna scooch it back and I'm gonna open this window so that we can get it done. I've already come to terms with the fact that I'm not gonna have perfect lighting for this vlog. And also I talked about this in my last vlog, but I feel like I've been trying so hard to make everything aesthetic all the time that I don't get any good vlog footage anymore and that it just becomes like a, a show and tell type of thing. So because I've already set my mind to this video not having good lighting, I don't have to work on making the whole thing perfect and I can actually get this done. Also, I just realized Doggy is already already on a full raw diet, but I still have this giant bag of ferret kibble that I bought. I only bought this because this is what she came from the pet store with, and I didn't know how long the transition was gonna be, so obviously she has to have kibble for a little bit, but don't worry, she's not eating this anymore. I'm trying to be the best ferret owner possible, and I know that includes getting Doggy a friend, so that's next on the list, trust me. But I think she's just sleeping. Oh my goodness, but here we have a little dog. 
Mwah! I see, girl. She's so sleepy. I'm gonna, oh! Mwah! I'm gonna paint your room, okay? You see how orange it is? Ideally, it's not gonna be orange anymore. Is that okay? She's so baby. Our dog is eight months old and relatively potty trained. So we've been doing pretty well. She's been here for about two or three weeks, I think. So yeah, but I'm gonna move her out of the room and honestly as far away as possible so the paint fumes don't get to her, uh, as well as the other critters in the house because we also have two hammies still. For the first time in quite a while, I'm gonna lock her up. I know she's not gonna be used to this. And of course, I'm gonna grab her food. She is super picky, so she only eats out of completely flat surfaces. So you guys don't understand the engineering it took for me to figure out a soap dish is perfect because it has flush edges, but it's still a little bit deep so it can hold her food. So that's what she's been eating out of. And I think she's confused why her food isn't in there because she's where her food normally is. Come on, dog. But I haven't locked her cage up in quite a few days. I think it's been like a week almost because she's just had this room to play in. You ready, hot dog? He's gonna be real cute in here. So first we're gonna get this room painted and then we're gonna get hot dog friends soon. Also, my parents are currently out of town and they don't know that I'm doing this. They know I've been thinking about it though, so I feel like it's fine, but I'm excited. Like that's gonna be pink. Isn't that so exciting? Let's get hot dog out of here. Also, there's so much stuff on top of her cage too. My toxic trait is thinking that I could honestly get this all painted like in one day, you know? I mean, if it needs more than one coat, that's not my problem. I think I can cover it all in one coat. But I don't know. I thought that about the other room too and I didn't do that. So I don't know, but I'll get the paint. Look how open the window can get. I guess it can go higher, but that's great so that it ventilates super fast in here and hopefully dries faster. My boyfriend just left, but I should have asked him to help me with some of this stuff before he did. I don't know if I can get this on the ground by myself, but... Did I girl boss too close to the sun? My nails are so long right now. Legs, legs, legs! Okay, got it on the ground. It was kind of slow, but we did it. <laughs> see, now we got a big wall. I don't see why I can't paint that in like... Minutes. I have my paint. I have two of these. Don't worry, we have more. But I feel like I can just start painting, you know? Don't be fooled. I didn't take this off the wall or anything else, but that wall's pretty open already. So I think I'm gonna just start painting. I just went upstairs. I never cleaned up after I painted my studio room. So I still have all of the materials. This is just one of those things where like when you have motivation to do it, you better take advantage because this is like the worst thing to do when you're not motivated to. Painting a wall, like, are you kidding me? Let's put one of these little guys on. I low key just poured the paint in this little thing because I'm gonna throw that thing away anyway, so we might as well get some use out of it before I do. And no tarp, no anything. I'm just gonna raw dog it. And I'm not gonna lie, uh, last few times I did this, the rooms I painted, it's been okay. I wasn't an art student for nothing, okay? I learned a thing or two, so. No drips, we're going in. Are we ready, squad? I'm ready. Is this in frame? Yes. Woo! OMG, I can't believe I'm just suddenly doing this. This is so satisfying. This is such a big surface. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess we just keep going. I'm gonna move this desk out of the way now. I'm thinking of just kind of getting the surface covered roughly. There is a lot of like trim in this room. I'm gonna have to make sure to go through and do that, which will probably take me some time. See, it's so like, like the lighting is so yellow in here. It doesn't even look pink, but I feel like maybe once the whole room is painted pink, it'll actually help even out some of that like warmness. Also, I'm all the way down here cause I'm dipping this in. <laughs> It is currently 5.27 and I will check in with you guys in maybe like an hour or so, so we can see how far I've gotten. But it's definitely gonna need more than one coat, but I'm doing them really thin. And since the window's wide open, I'm hoping it just 
dries really fast. We will see. I'm gonna put on an episode of Grey's Anatomy. I am rewatching it for like the 16th time of my life, but that's what we're doing. And the game entirely. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, about one hour later, we have this wall, which is semi-covered because I've been too lazy to move this desk. And then this wall back here, which is on its like third coat and it's drawing down. I didn't do the top part again, but I think I'm gonna tackle this little beam and maybe the top part here. I don't currently have a paintbrush, which would be very nice, but I don't have that. Uh, I think I'm gonna bust out this tiny guy so that we can do that little area. Getting some paint on this roller in my bucket of paint, but it's okay because so far I've barely had any drips. It is time to tackle this one, which I think is gonna be so satisfying. <gasps> wow. And with a tiny roller, <laughs> I'm gonna go as long as I can without a little paintbrush, but I'll probably have to go to Home Depot and get one. But yeah, got the beam left. And now four hours of straight painting. As you can see, it actually is coming along quite well. I have that corner. Um, I'm gonna try to move the furniture out a little bit, but I'm mostly just concerned about getting up here. And then over here, as you can see, it's coming along, it's mostly pink. So I'm gonna do probably the rest off camera because my camera's out of space now. And I will see you guys tomorrow, probably. It is the next morning, and as you can see, I pretty much finished last night. There's a few areas that are a little bit patchy, like up there, I have to climb back up there, and then along the edges here. But other than that, I think the rest of it is pretty solid. So it's just a lot of like areas around the window, because that part's kind of hard to reach. I'm gonna crawl my little butt up there real quick and get that area. decided to put the rug in here because she loves the rug so much we love this rug it's been upstairs and she's been playing in it but i decided that for now we'll see if she can handle it because i think she may be losing her mind if she ends up um being able to behave for the most part we'll keep this in here but as you can see she's so happy to have a rug we're so excited to have a rug and some little pillows, huh? Wow! Wow! We're a funny dog. Oh! I think she's learned that it's nicer to jump on carpet. <laughs> it doesn't hurt as much. She'll probably go under it a lot, but maybe she'll get bored of doing that. I don't know. We love the rug. We freak out about the rug. Yeah! Oh, and we go under the rug. So here's what the room currently looks like. It's still pretty messy, but better than before. As you can see, both the desktops need to be cleared off dramatically. But I've had this light that I've been saving for hot dog for quite a while now. So I think I'm going to try to set this up somewhere. You're looking at your new lights, dog. So as of right now, this is what her room's looking like. I've been rearranging her furniture a lot. And there's no hot dog. Hello, peeps. But yeah, we are getting there. It's been quite a bit of progress, but yeah, I'm still figuring out. I think we're getting a heart tunnel today, so I'm excited about that one. Also, my camera dies, so I'm filming on my phone right now. But we are continuing the process of her little room makeover, so we are still figuring it out. And hot dog, do you wanna come say hello? Sweet little girl. You're so cutie. We almost got her a friend yesterday, but we decided not to. Sorry if I'm gripping you kind of aggressively, but just saying hello. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing some other housework today, so we'll see how everything goes. Hot dog, what on earth is this pose? Hot dog, that is a crazy pose you just did. Good morning to the dog. Daily routines, we are letting the dog out. Oh, but she's still asleep. Hello, dog. Wow. I'm gonna wait for her to wake up. <laughs> 
my dog, what are you doing? Oh, yawn. I'm gonna wait for her little poop and then we're gonna let her out. Here is the ferret room. Mostly done for now. So here we have their cat tree. It moved around a couple times in the house, but I decided to leave it here. And here's their cage, which is left open pretty much all the time because they just free roam in this room. So we have both their doors open. So recently we got this little tunnel that they like. So here is how the ferret room turned out. It is pretty cute. We got a hot dog in here and we still have both of the desks in here, but I just haven't had anywhere else to put them. It has these pom-poms that she likes. Do you like your hot dog? Do you like your hot dog? But yeah, this is how the room came out. So this is everything. So yeah, I think it's a big improvement from how it was before. So this is pretty much everything. And happy day one of Vlogmas. So stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Wanna say goodbye, hot dog? Say thanks for watching. I'm hot dog. <laughs>